to live the life you want, learn how to focus on yourself. Pretty simple, right? But most people throw away all of their dreams because of what other people think. Sad, but true. It's not enough to just tell people to stop caring about what other people think and just focus on yourself, like we all haven't thought of that already. So here's the seven keys to focus on yourself. Key one, personal development. The major key to your better future is you. Unless you change how you are, you'll always have what you've got. Your level of success will seldom exceed your level of personal development. Don't join an easy crowd, you won't grow. Invest in yourself, invest in your own self-education, and then take that knowledge and use it to help others get what they want and need out of life. In the process, you will acquire power and financial freedom. Those are best. Jim Rohn quotes about personal development. At the core of a brighter future lies a profound truth. The major key to your better future is you. This concept echoes the Stoic philosophy's fundamental principle of self-mastery and personal development. The Stoics believed in the idea of taking control of one's inner self, recognizing that true freedom and progress begin with mastering one's own thoughts, emotions, and actions. To embrace a better future, it is essential to acknowledge the Stoic perspective that personal transformation is an internal journey. The external circumstances may vary, but the key catalyst for change resides within oneself. This aligns with the Stoic emphasis on cultivating virtues such as wisdom, courage, and self-discipline to navigate life's challenges effectively. The assertion that unless you change how you are, you'll always have what you've got underscores the Stoic understanding that personal development is an ongoing process. The Stoics believed in the continuous refinement of character and wisdom throughout. Changing oneself involves a commitment to self-awareness, introspection, and the willingness to adapt to new insights. It reflects the Stoic concept of Stoic oikiosis, the idea of expanding one's circle of concern to include personal development and moral growth. Your level of success being tethered to your level of personal development resonates strongly with Stoic teachings. The Stoics maintain that true success is not solely measured by external achievements. As you strive for success, the Stoics would advise focusing on developing qualities like resilience, integrity, and equanimity to ensure enduring and meaningful achievement. Don't join an easy crowd. You won't grow. Go where the expectations and the demands to perform are high. This quote aligns with Stoic ideals of seeking challenges and discomfort for personal development. The Stoics valued facing adversities as opportunities for growth. Going where expectations are high reflects a Stoic mindset of embracing challenges as a means to strengthen one's character and virtues. It echoes the Stoic teaching of Amor Fatia, the love of fate, embracing challenges as opportunities for growth. The call to invest in yourself in your own self-education, and then using that knowledge to help others aligns with the Stoic principle of virtue is the sole good. Stoics believed in the inherent value of wisdom and knowledge for their own sake. However, they also emphasized the importance of using that wisdom to contribute to the well-being of others. This aligns with the Stoic concept of philosophia, the love of wisdom, which extends beyond personal development to benefit society. Investing in your own self-education is akin to the Stoic pursuit of wisdom. The Stoics recognize that acquiring knowledge is a continuous process and wisdom arises from a lifelong commitment to learning. The idea of using acquired knowledge to help others aligns with Stoic cosmopolitanism, emphasizing the interconnectedness of humanity. By contributing to others' well-being, you fulfill not only your personal development, but also your role as a responsible member of the human community. Stoic philosophy's core tenets, emphasizing the pivotal role of personal development in shaping a brighter future. The Stoics' emphasis on self-mastery, continuous improvement, facing challenges, and contributing to the well-being of others resonates strongly with the essence of these quotes. As you embark on the journey of personal development, Remember that the key to a better future lies not just in external achievements, but in the cultivation of virtues, wisdom, and a steadfast commitment to self-improvement. 
Key to set your goals. It's either short term or long term and then put it into your daily action. Remember that whatever you do in a day of your life, you must spend that time for that goal one step at a time. If you go to work on your goals, your goals will go to work on you. If you go to work on your plan, your plan will go to work on you. Whatever good things we build end up building us. The ultimate reason for setting goals is to entice you to become the person it takes to achieve them. There's no telling what you can do when you get inspired by them. There's no telling what you can do when you believe in them. Goals are like a magnet. They pull, and the stronger they are, the more purposeful they are. The bigger they are, the more unique they are, the stronger they pull. If you really want to do something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. Those are the best Jim Rohn quotes about goals. Pursuing goals is not just about achieving external milestones. It's a profound process that shapes and molds the essence of who we are. As you dive into the realm of goals, you discover that the act of working on them is, in essence, a reciprocal relationship. In the Stoic philosophy, there is a resonating echo of this reciprocity. The Stoics, with their emphasis on self-discipline and personal development, would likely appreciate the idea that when you diligently work on your goals, you are engaging in a transformative dialogue with yourself. It aligns with the Stoic principle of continuous self-improvement, where the journey towards your goals becomes a means of cultivating virtues and inner strength. The notion that your goals will go to work on you suggests a profound interplay between aspiration and personal growth. As you strive toward your objectives, you inevitably encounter challenges and obstacles. These are not merely external roadblocks, but opportunities for internal resilience and fortitude to emerge. The Stoics would nod in agreement, seeing in these challenges a chance to exercise their principles of endurance, wisdom, and maintaining tranquility amidst adversity. Setting and pursuing goals is not just a checklist of accomplishments. It's a journey of self-discovery and transformation. The Stoics believe that the ultimate goal in life is to live in accordance with nature and reason. In the context of goal setting, this aligns with the idea that the ultimate reason for setting goals is to entice you to become the person it takes to achieve them. Your goals become a compass guiding you toward personal excellence, virtue, and alignment with your true self. The magnetic pull of goals, as mentioned in the quotes, is a concept that the Stoics would find resonance with. The Stoic philosophy encourages individuals to be guided by their internal values rather than external circumstances when goals become like magnets pulling you towards them. It's a reflection of the internal alignment between your aspirations and your core values. The stronger and more purposeful your goals are, the more they align with your intrinsic values, pulling you towards a life that reflects these principles. The Stoics would caution against being swayed solely by external influences and fleeting desires. Instead, they would advocate for setting goals that align with your fundamental values, thus ensuring that the pursuit of these goals contributes not only to external success but also to inner fulfillment and eudaimonia. The belief in your goals, as highlighted in the quotes, resonates with Stoic notions of maintaining an unwavering commitment to one's principles. When you believe in your goals, you are not merely placing faith in external outcomes, but anchoring your belief in your ability to navigate challenges and stay true to your values. This aligns with Stoic teachings on the importance of maintaining inner resilience and steadfastness in the face of external uncertainties. These quotes on goals of Jim Rohn intricately weave into the fabric of Stoic philosophy, emphasizing the transformative power of goal setting. The journey towards your goals becomes a reciprocal relationship, shaping both your external achievements and your internal character. As you set and pursue goals inspired by your values, you embark on a stoic journey of self-discovery, resilience, and alignment with the principles that lead to a flourishing and virtuous life. Key 3. Discipline in Action Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. Success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every day. 
Unless you change how you are, you will always have what you've got. The best time to set up a new discipline is when the idea is strong. For every disciplined effort, there is a multiple reward. Those are Jim Rohn's wisdom for discipline. In delving into the teachings of Jim Rohn, a luminary in the realm of personal development, the spotlight invariably falls on the profound significance he attributes to disciplined actions. Rohn's philosophy, rooted in the belief of self-discipline as a catalyst for personal transformation, underscores the enduring truth that consistent, disciplined actions are the linchpin to manifesting our aspirations to the stoic emphasis on self-discipline and virtue. Rohn's teachings echo the ageless wisdom that our daily actions shape the trajectory of our lives. Central to Rowan's philosophy is the unwavering commitment to daily disciplines. Stoicism, with its focus on virtue as the highest good, aligns with this principle by advocating the cultivation of good habits through disciplined actions. The Stoics believed that consistent virtuous behavior practiced daily leads to the development of character and the realization of one's full potential. Ron's emphasis on daily disciplines mirrors this stoic ethos, emphasizing that the key to personal transformation lies in the repetitive, intentional actions we take each day. Rohn's call to conquer procrastination resonates deeply with stoic teachings on seizing the present moment. Stoicism encourages individuals to recognize the impermanence of time and to act with a sense of urgency. Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, declared that life is long if you know how to use it, emphasizing the importance of not squandering time. Rohn's philosophy mirrors the Stoic perspective, urging us to resist the allure of procrastination and embrace the power of disciplined actions in the here and now. Resisting instant gratification in favor of long-term benefits is a cornerstone of Rowan's philosophy of disciplined actions. Stoicism, too, extols the virtues of deferred gratification. The Stoics believed in enduring hardships and temporary discomfort for the sake of long-term well-being and virtue. Ron's emphasis on prioritizing long-term benefits aligns harmoniously with the Stoic principle of focusing on enduring virtues over fleeting pleasures. Ron's philosophy urges us to maximize our time and energy, directing our efforts toward the attainment of our goals. Stoicism, in its practical approach to living a virtuous life, echoes this sentiment. The Stoics advocated for the wise use of time and energy in the pursuit of virtue and personal excellence. Seneca emphasized that time is a non-renewable resource and should be allocated judiciously. Rohn's call to prioritize efforts aligns with the Stoic understanding that our actions should be purposeful and aligned with our overarching goal. By making discipline a core value in our lives, Rohn asserts that we can overcome obstacles, remain focused, and stay committed to achieving personal transformation. Stoicism, with its emphasis on the discipline of desire, action, and assent, offers a parallel perspective. The Stoics believed in cultivating discipline in one's thoughts, behaviors, and responses to external events. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, stressed the importance of self-discipline in maintaining inner tranquility. Osiron's advocacy for discipline as a catalyst for overcoming obstacles finds resonance in the Stoic philosophy of mastering oneself in the face of adversity. Jim Rohn's philosophy of disciplined actions aligns seamlessly with Stoic principles, underscoring the timeless wisdom that intentional, virtuous actions shape the course of our lives. Both philosophies converge on the idea that consistent, disciplined efforts practiced daily are instrumental in achieving personal transformation and fulfilling our aspirations, whether through Ron's lens of disciplined actions or the stoic emphasis on virtue. The message remains clear. Our daily habits and choices sculpt the masterpiece of our lives. Number four, create positive mindset. Either you run the day or the day runs you. Nourish the mind like you would your body. The mind cannot survive on junk food. If you are not financially independent by the time you are 40 or 50, it doesn't mean that you are living in the wrong country or at the wrong time. It simply means that you have the wrong plan. 
Learning the art of expressing gratitude will force you to focus on the positive. Words of Jim Rohn on Positive Mindset Rohn's philosophy, deeply rooted in the belief that our thoughts intricately shape our actions and ultimately dictate the trajectory of success or failure, finds resonance with the timeless wisdom embedded in Stoic philosophy. Rohn's emphasis on embracing a positive mindset aligns harmoniously, including luminaries such as Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, stressed the importance of maintaining an equanimous mind in the face of life's challenges. The Stoic doctrine teaches us that while we may not control external events, we wield mastery over our interpretations and responses. Ron's advocacy for a positive mindset echoes this Stoic principle, urging us to approach challenges with a productive and optimistic perspective. Rohn's philosophy compels us to confront challenges head-on, viewing obstacles not as insurmountable barriers, but as opportunities for growth. In Stoicism, the concept of amor fati, the love of fate, aligns with this perspective. Stoics believed in embracing all facets of life, including difficulties, as essential components of the cosmic order. Epictetus encouraged the view that challenges are opportunities to practice virtue and resilience Rohn's teachings echo this Stoic wisdom, guiding us to see obstacles as stepping stones on our journey toward personal transformation. The optimistic outlook promoted by Rohn becomes a wellspring of determination, resilience, and tenacity, qualities integral to the Stoic concept of Stoic endurance. Stoicism teaches the cultivation of inner fortitude and the ability to endure hardships with grace. Seneca, in his letters, often emphasized the importance of facing adversity with a steadfast mind. Ron's philosophy of maintaining a positive mindset resonates with the stoic call for inner resilience, illustrating that an optimistic outlook is not just a disposition, but a formidable tool for navigating life's challenges. Ron's teachings underscore the significance of steering our thoughts towards optimism, unlocking our true potential. This aligns with the Stoic principle of eudaimonia, the flourishing of the human spirit through virtuous living. Stoics believe that true happiness and fulfillment arise from aligning one's actions with the cardinal virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Ron's encouragement to cultivate a positive mindset serves as a practical application of Stoic ideals illustrating that our mental disposition plays a pivotal role in actualizing our true potential. With Stoic teachings offering a holistic approach to navigating the complexities of life, both philosophies converge on the profound insight that our thoughts influence our actions and consequently our destiny, whether through Rollins' lens of optimism or the Stoic emphasis on inner resilience. The lesson resonates. Cultivating a positive mindset is not just an optimistic inclination. It is a strategic imperative for unlocking the full spectrum of our human potential. Key five, personal responsibility. You must take personal responsibility. You cannot change the circumstances, the seasons, or the wind, but you can change yourself. Jim Rohn, quote, in the profound exploration of personal responsibility, a journey intertwined with the wisdom of Stoic philosophy unfolds. The initial aversion to accepting responsibility, often accompanied by discomfort and vulnerability, echoes the Stoic recognition that the path of virtue requires facing challenges and acknowledging one's role in shaping their destiny. Stoicism, with its emphasis on rationality and self-discipline, provides a lens through which to view the reluctance to accept responsibility. The Stoics recognized the inherent anxiety in confronting the unknown, a sentiment echoed in the discomfort associated with taking responsibility. Seneca highlighted the necessity of embracing discomfort for personal growth, stating, he suffers more than necessary, who suffers before it is necessary. This Stoic principle aligns with the acknowledgement that accepting responsibility might evoke anxiety but is crucial for virtuous living. The fear of confirming one's sense of unworthiness and incompetence, a common deterrent to responsibility, finds resonance in Stoic teachings on self-awareness. Marcus Aurelius, 
and Roman emperor encouraged introspection, stating, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. Stoicism invites individuals to confront their insecurities with self-awareness and self-improvement, emphasizing that acknowledging weaknesses is the first step towards cultivating virtue. The vulnerability associated with accepting responsibility, leaving one exposed and undefended, mirrors the Stoic concept of embracing one's vulnerability with courage. Epictetus emphasize the importance of distinguishing between what is within our control and what is not. Accepting responsibility aligns with this Stoic teaching by focusing on what lies within our control. The Stoic defense mechanism against responsibility, justifying and blaming external factors, resonates with the philosophical concept of the Stoic Reserve Clause. This clause acknowledges external events as beyond our control but emphasizes our control over our judgments and responses. Rather than succumbing to the temptation of blame, Stoicism encourages a mindful response to challenges, accepting responsibility for our reactions while recognizing the external factors at play. Accepting responsibility, though initially daunting, aligns with fundamental Stoic principles. Stoicism provides a philosophical framework that embraces discomfort for personal growth, encourages self-awareness in acknowledging weaknesses, promotes courage in facing vulnerability, and advocates for mindful responses instead of blame. The synthesis of Stoic wisdom with the lessons of responsibility offers a transformative perspective, a recognition that true strength emerges not from avoidance but from the courageous acceptance of one's role in shaping the narrative of life. Key 6. Learn about money and time. Come to think of this, if you truly know much about money, then how much is in your bank account now as you watch this video, only you will answer truly to yourself. Wealth is not a matter of intelligence, it's a matter of inspiration. Time is more valuable than money. You can get more money, but you cannot get more time. We all know a variety of ways to make a living. What's even more fascinating is figuring out ways to make a fortune. Never begrudge the money you spend on your own education. I remember saying to my mentor, if I had more money, I would have a better plan. He quickly responded, I would suggest that if you had a better plan, you would have more money. You see, it's not the amount that counts. It's the plan that counts. And those are Jim Rohn wisdom about money. In the pursuit of wealth, the lens of Stoic philosophy offers a profound perspective, guiding us to understand that wealth transcends mere intelligence. Stoicism teaches that true wealth is found not just in material possessions, but in cultivating virtues like wisdom, courage, and justice. The inspiration to live a life aligned with these virtues becomes the true foundation. The notion that time is more valuable than money echoes the Stoic understanding of the limited nature of our time in this world. Stoics would encourage us to recognize the preciousness of each moment, emphasizing the importance of using our time wisely to cultivate virtues and contribute meaningfully to our own well-being and the well-being of others. For time once spent cannot be reclaimed, making its value immeasurable in the Stoic worldview. We all know a variety of ways to make a living. What's even more fascinating is figuring out ways to make a fortune. This concept aligns with Stoic teachings on the pursuit of excellence and virtuous living. Stoicism encourages us to seek not just the means to make a living, but to strive for excellence in all aspects of our lives. Making a fortune, in Stoic terms, is not just about accumulating wealth, but about amassing a wealth of virtues, character, and a life well lived. The advice to never begrudge the money spent on one's education resonates with Stoic principles of lifelong learning. Stoics believed in the continuous pursuit of wisdom and knowledge, recognizing that education is an investment in oneself. The idea that investing in education is never a regret aligns with the Stoic concept of eudaimonia, the flourishing of the human spirit achieved through the cultivation of virtues and the pursuit of wisdom. The dialogue between the speaker and their mentor about money and planning encapsulates a key Stoic insight. 
it emphasizes that the true determinant of financial success is not merely the amount of money, but the quality of one's plan. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what is within our control. Our thoughts, actions, becomes the true source of financial prosperity, reinforcing the Stoic principle of focusing on internal virtues rather than external circumstances. When viewed through the lens of Stoic philosophy, unveil a holistic understanding of wealth. It extends beyond the material realm, encompassing virtues, time, education, and thoughtful planning. Stoicism guides us to see wealth not as an end in itself, but as a reflection of a life lived with purpose, wisdom, and a commitment to continuous self-improvement. The pursuit of wealth, when aligned with Stoic principles, becomes a journey towards a meaningful and flourishing existence. Key 7. Continuous Improvement What you become is far more important than what you get. Formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a fortune. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. Don't wish for less challenge. Wish for more wisdom. In the vast tapestry of personal development, the profound teachings of Jim Rohn unveil a timeless principle, the pursuit of continuous improvement. Embedded within this philosophy is the recognition that the journey of personal transformation is not a static destination, but a perpetual odyssey. This resonates harmoniously with Stoic principles that advocate for the ongoing refinement of one's character and the pursuit of wisdom. Ron's philosophy mirrors the Stoic belief in the dynamic nature of personal growth. Stoicism, with its focus on virtue as a lifelong pursuit, Rohn's call for continuous improvement echoes this Stoic ethos, urging us to view personal development as a continual journey rather than a finite goal. Central to Rohn's philosophy is the call for lifelong learning, a principle that harmonizes with the Stoic emphasis on the pursuit of wisdom. The Stoics believed in the importance of philosophical education as a means to cultivate virtue and attain eudaimonia, a flourishing life. Seneca, in his letters, encouraged the pursuit of knowledge as a lifelong endeavor. Rohn's advocacy for committing to continuous learning aligns with this Stoic wisdom, highlighting that the quest for improvement involves an unceasing dedication to acquiring new insights and expanding one's intellectual horizons. Stepping out of comfort zones and embracing new challenges are pivotal aspects of Rohn's philosophy of continuous improvement. This aligns with Stoic teachings on the discipline of desire, encouraging individuals to face discomfort for the sake of personal growth, Seneca famously remarked. He suffers more than necessary, who suffers before it is necessary. Ron's call to embrace challenges resonates with the Stoic understanding that by willingly confronting difficulties, we foster resilience and fortitude, essential attributes for continuous improvement. The philosophy underscores the profound idea that each day offers an opportunity for growth, knowledge acquisition, and skill refinement. Stoicism, with its focus on the present moment, aligns with this perspective. The Stoics, including Marcus Aurelius, emphasized the importance of living in accordance with nature, which includes recognizing and utilizing the potential for improvement in each passing day. Ron's philosophy echoes this Stoic principle, reminding us that every moment presents a chance for self-enhancement. For that, seven keys is for you to use. But remember, success is the natural consequence of consistently applying the basic fundamentals.